Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Coming up at the start of the next segment, I'm going to get into the attack on free speech and then your phone calls. The way these so-called liberals attack and viciously demonize anybody that doesn't agree with them, even for mild uh, counterpoints. Again, we must stop calling these people liberals. And you know, over the years, I've been against the Republicans and the Democrats, and I am against the Republican leadership. But the Democrats, with the demographics, everything, they, they want to go for it all. They are the big enchilada. And big Tea Party Republicans everywhere are being attacked because when they go to Congress, when they go to the Senate, the House, they actually do what they say they're going to do, like Ted Cruz, Rand Paul, and others. And other Republicans that were more libertarian-leaning are now, quote, radicalizing, which isn't radicalizing at all. Now, we're going to talk more about that coming up in the next segment. But David Knight, you were going to do this other gun piece. Yeah, I would just say they're not calling themselves liberals either, Alex. They're calling themselves progressives. You know, because every time people realize what they really stand for, they got to change the label. So that's what they're, that's the label of Vogue today. Is well, I've been around a lot of big Democrats. They are social engineers. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they know they are. And they go, of course, we're manipulating people and laugh at me. I want to punch them in the nose. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, we've also got, we're just talking about how they demonize gun owners, how they demonize guns. They want everybody to be afraid of these labels and these imaginary things. They've got schools that are staging active shooter drills with blanks and fake blood in Missouri. This is in Missouri's Lincoln County School. It's happening everywhere under federal grants. Yes, yes. But we've got an interesting video here that IntelliHub put up, and we've got it linked. Yeah, Shepard Ambulus, or it, great yes. researcher. And just take a look at this video. This is pretty amazing when you hear these kids and you see how they're instilling fear in them. Yeah, let's go ahead and crank the audio up, guys, if you can. And I stopped, and I meant to run. The adrenaline gets you. But I was kind of frozen in my spot. The going to be prisoners. And he shot me, and I was like, I died, so. And they've got big I shot, uh, gunshot wounds all over their happen. face. Yeah. And again, the and argument is, like, oh, this will be good if it really happens. I'm going to try to Statistically, deer corn, kill more people every year than, than mass shootings. The gunman and came it's in. it's being done to mind control Jacob everybody. and took me. You. Come here. Come here. Come with me. Come here. He sees him to go with him. I'm gonna in the hallway and try to open the no. doors. Don't open the door. Open the door. Acting innocent so that we wow. could get in and he could kill the people. And then I got up and I walked out into the middle of the cafeteria and I just started. I just looked down and I see people just laying there. This creates the psychological belief that there's this is friend. epidemic. It yes. Even be your this is how they create. Way, That's, you put the LA Times up about gun crime plummets, but that was you? perception With is it's up. The shootings that have been going gun crime on, drops. It's, it's They're training as if this is certainly case. going to happen. Definitely for the students. There it is. There's the headline. A lot of my friends got scared. Some teachers told me their doors wouldn't lock and they were scared. Oh no. I was just thinking of places. Well, don't worry, the state's there to keep us safe. In the scenario that it ever happened. I couldn't think of any. The same state and that, um, think this the same globalist happen. corporate government that. This is my first time. Puts the fluoride in the water. That's good. Do it again. This is my tenth one. You know, one of the things I said in there. This is even scarier because it's on my home turf. It's going to make me second guess my own school. They're trying to deliberately scare them. And you know these kids need to be careful about this kind of stuff because so they might find themselves in a real false flag attack. They might find themselves. That's right. They'll use a drill. That sort of thing. They'll use a drill. Yep. Exactly. So that it's, it's a very, very sad thing. If you see this video, I mean, they're like walking zombies with gunshot wounds on their head and in their, on their neck. That's precisely what they're trying to do. It's a propaganda campaign, just like Eric Holder said, we're going to make everybody afraid of gun owners. We're going to propagandize them. We're going to brainwash them is actually what he said. Did you ask Kid, who's here working, to post that article? Yeah, I think he's got it up. Oh, there it is. It's in the, it's in the um, tiles on Infowars.com. Good job, Kid, up here working on Sunday. Yeah. We should probably put that as the second story, actually. It ties in under U.S. Army builds fake city in Virginia, practice military occupation. We should probably post the Intel Hub article right there as well. And they're doing it over and over again. And, and there's just this one county, the guy said they've done it over a dozen of these drills in just the last year that he's participated. Oh, yeah, they never stop. Right. Well, I mean, I've found the actual drill manuals. It's been in the Associated Press. It's, quote, 
homeschoolers against public education. Yes. yes. They tell them, I'm going to kill you and then pull the trigger. Homeschoolers. Gonna... Sometimes they don't tell them it's a drill. That's right. Now, they've been sued over those, so they don't do those a lot. But Minnesota, Texas, they've been sued and lost. We'll be right back, folks. Stay with us. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? He still has the gun. The gun is pointed at me right at this moment. People calling themselves members of the Weather Underground last night planted bombs in federal office buildings in Washington and Oakland, California. They took the babies out of the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Survivors of the USS Liberty are demanding a congressional investigation into what happened and acknowledgement that the Israeli Air Force bombed a U.S. intelligence Navy ship. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's Cy Hirsch points out it's fake. Right. The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. Got rid of those SEALs. A false flag incident where some uh, ship goes down and you be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. If there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans and everybody in between, is that we all hated the bank bailout. The Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. And uh, folks, I'm not whining. I'm just letting you know if I sound a little bit out of sorts. I've got um, 102.8 fever. And uh, I've had a fever for three or four days now. And I went into the doctor today. They did a chest x-ray and some swabs. I've got uh, double pneumonia, but it's only on the tops of my lungs, so I'm good. And it feels a lot better to be here. David Knight was here in case I had to bow out. And I may do it at the bottom of the hour. It's starting to hurt pretty bad. <clears throat> and I'll go into coughing fits. But the point is, it'll hurt worse when I go home and lay down. I'm here because I understand how serious this situation is. And it would feel weird to be home right now and not up here talking to millions of people. I wish this wasn't true. I wish this wasn't happening. But it is happening. And the average person is good in this country. I don't care if you're in government or in private business or a corporation or a school teacher or a farmer. I don't care what color you are. You want to be free. And you want justice. Well, we have to stop being naive. And, and, and actually, people aren't naive. 6% approval rating for Congress? People won't even believe that. Guys put in Gallup, lowest approval for Congress ever, 6%. This is an illegitimate government. And it's not going to go quietly. And I don't just mean Obama. I mean the whole stinking thing. And the good news is, if everybody just starts speaking up, 
if everybody just starts saying no, even in little ways, this system will come down. I, when I went up to Dallas for the 50th anniversary of the assassination of JFK, when I went there, you guys found 13, that's an old one. I'll, I'll pull, it's all right, I'll pull it up. Just type in Congress has 60% approval rating. It was a big deal three months ago. I'll, I'll pull it up, it's all right. The issue is, is that when I went up to Dallas, you're a radio listener, we're simulcasting TV at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. There's free feeds at InfoWars.com forward slash show. So you can go there and actually see the feeds, find the podcast and more. But I digress. The point I'm trying to get at here is that when I went up there, I had correspondence, two of them. The same thing happened to Gucci Hardy was up there with me. But his was separate. It was a French international agency. I had the big, there was people there from NBC, CBS. There was only one barbecue place nearby. They come over, we appreciate your work. We know this is all real. And mm -hmm. we know we're going to have jobs soon anyways. It's really a depression. Just keep it up. And we're trying to figure out how when we leave this business, you know, I'm 65 years old, the guy would say. But I'm trying to figure out how we can start some media thing to fight this. So, you know, we sit here going, oh, don't get us military, don't get us police. The globalists are scared. They're trying to get them ready to counter us. Because the truth is, we're actually having a huge effect, not just this show, but the common sense out there. Yeah. And so I just want to say great job to the crew, great job to you, David, to our sponsors, our affiliates, our listeners. This is a big deal we're doing here, though. That's why I say I don't feel worthy to be on the air sometimes, is because this really is a big deal. I mean, we really are seeing a technotronic, high-tech police state takeover. And we need to counter it. You know, you've got three children. I've got three children. Your comments on that, David, and then we're going to get into some really positive news. Well, you know, I, I think when you look at this last election, when people see what they did to Ron Paul, to Gary Johnson, other people, it's something I experienced with the Libertarian Party years and years ago. We, they were very much afraid of Ron Paul and Gary Johnson, anybody who has a message. And so they do everything they can to suppress that message because it's so powerful. And although they can rig the debates, they can rig the media, just a little bit of that gets out. And it was very apparent to people this last time exactly what was going on. And now we've got Time Magazine coming out and saying the same sorts of things that we've been saying for years. Years ago, Harvard did a study that was based in China where they looked at the effects of fluoride on children's IQ. And they saw that it lowered it by 20 points. Now, a lot of people push back and said, yeah, but those levels are higher than you're going to get in the U.S. Well, how do you know what the levels are if you just dump it in the water indiscriminately? You can't control for dosage if you're going to force medicate the public by dumping it into the water. Everybody's going to get a different dosage. And you need a different dosage if this was a fake. Look, they've always known with rats for hundreds of years. The point is the facts are out in Time Magazine. Exactly. List, list fluoride and four other compounds as brain damaging. The American people, yeah, I know that. Yeah. I have John P. Holdren's book he wrote the year I was born. He's now the science czar. Eco science bragging about how they're doing it. Yeah. And so, but it's interesting that time would come out with this. I mean, th this came out about 10 days ago or so. We covered it on the nightly news. When this new study came <laughs> out, what they did was Harvard and China went back and they looked at about 27 studies, if I remember the number correctly. It was over two dozen. And they averaged together. Yeah, the article's on screen. Yeah, they looked at the amount of exposure, the amount of fluoride, and then looked at the corresponding drop in IQ. There's no question that fluoride causes a drop in there's IQ. No, there's no question rat poison lowers IQ? That's right. There's no question about it. They're just trying to quantize how much uh, this amount of fluoride is going to lower your IQ points. And what they came up with over the 27 studies was seven-point drop. And they repeat that here in Time Magazine. They say exposure high levels of fluoride from drinking water can contribute to a seven-point drop in IQ on average. Although that's a go. huge whitewash. Most of the studies, depending yeah. on the amount you get, Oh yeah, we're talking 10, 20, 30 points. Absolutely. Absolutely. But <coughs> it's finally mm -hmm. coming out. And we know... But, but I mean, it, it, it came out in a Harvard study last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In 2000, again, in 2010, they had almost every EPA and FDA scientist get together. I had these scientists on that got it going. They had bring almost unanimous signed um, you know, medical toxicology research to the, the, the FDA and the EPA to say, take it out of the water. Yes. Yes. People should get angry about this. Very angry about this. They get angry about Obamacare and they should. But this is forced medication. Even if you thought it was safe and effective, how can you justify them force medicating the public with anything? Look, they want to dumb down. That's why they teach yeah. two. Look, 
I rest my case. The government teaches two plus two equals four in the public schools. No, I had a Freudian slip. Two plus two does equal four. The government teaches under Common Core two plus two equals five. Yeah. I just have trouble saying things that aren't right on purpose.